I want to give you my number one secret to help you release the energy of a retrograde planet in your natal chart. Hi, I'm Jeremy Ryden, the birthday coach, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I help you do that with the secrets of astrology. Retrograde planet, you can tell if you have one in your natal chart by the little R symbol next to the planet. There's thousands of videos out there explaining what retrograde is. It means that that planet's energy is not moving forward in your life in a direct way. It's more intuitive. It's more introverted. It's more personalized. And there's nothing wrong with a retrograde planet. But sometimes you would like to see the energy of that planet actually bringing visible results in your outer environment and not just experiencing it in your thoughts or your heart or your feeling. Why Why did I say that? Well, if you had Jupiter retrograde, what does Jupiter mean? Expansion, blessings, prosperity. And if it's retrograde, some of you would never see your Jupiter go direct in your lifetime. Those outer planets stay retrograde for a lot of you all of your life. And so it can get frustrating feeling like I don't see the outer, outer results of these retrograde planets. Well, there is a way to remedy that. There is a way to get the blessings of a retrograde planet still inwardly, still individualized, and still be able to do this little trick I'm about to give you to see it also produce the results in your life. You know, so uh, retro grade means sometimes there's a stuck energy. It can feel like it's stuck. It feels like it's not flowing. It feels like it's not moving in your life. All planets are energies. Every single planet holds an energy. You need every planet's energy at some time in some area of your life. You need the energy of discipline with Saturn. You need the energy of passion with Mars. You need the energy of finances with Venus. You need the energy of Mercury with uh, uh, education, thinking, logic. I mean, I could go on and on. Every planet's an energy. And when it's the planet's retrograde, you have the energy of that planet not manifesting its good results in an outer visible way. Nothing wrong with the results inwardly, but we would like to also see, I don't know about you, I would like to also see some of these good results that everyone else is getting when they don't have a planet retrograde. What's your retrograde planet? Throw it in the comment section right after this video and we can discuss it. So let me get to my number one secret. Now, before I share that, people will always tell you the way to access a, a retrograde planet is it's more inwardly, it's more intuitive and spiritual and personalized. So yes, you want to intuitively work with this energy. You want to become quiet and all those things are true and you want to use that energy on uh, on how you want to use it because the retro means personalized. It's how you personally want to use it. It doesn't mean like everyone else. And so those aspects of retrograde is great. But I want to get the energy of retrograde also moving so you also see it not just in a quiet, personalized, spiritualized way, which that's good, but let's get the bonus. Wouldn't you like a bonus? Wouldn't you like to also be able to see the results of that planet in this world among your friends, your family, your work, your love right now? All right, here's my number one secret. Have you subscribed to my channel? Are you ringing that notification bell? Because you're going to want this type of astrology in your your uh, inbox as often as you can. Because you're not going to get this everywhere. All right. Retro means redo. Go back. So if you have a planet that is retrograde, that planet is in some type of zodiac sign. And you're not being able to access that planet until you go to the previous zodiac sign and treat that planet like the previous zodiac sign. So what, let me give you an example. Let's say you're Jupiter, the planet of expansion, favor, blessings, knowledge, wisdom, prosperity. It's the One of the best planets in the natal chart. Let's say it's retrograde in Aries. Well, you're going to hear a lot of times that uh, Aries, Jupiter, right? They get blessed when they're assertive and they start new things and they're entrepreneur and they're visionary and they're very uh, initiating and so if you got that Jupiter in Aries, it may feel like when I initiate and I try to do things, I'm not seeing all this good stuff that it talks about. I'm not seeing the favor. I'm not seeing the prosperity. I'm not seeing the expansion. In fact, it feels like every time I start something, there's always a lot of resistance and things holding me back from following through. Well, if that was the case, what you want to do with the retrograde Jupiter is to go to the previous sign, the sign before 
the zodiac sign that it's in. So I gave you the example of Jupiter and Aries. The sign that comes before Aries is the last sign in the zodiac, Pisces. So you would want to read about Jupiter and Pisces and start acting like a Jupiter and Pisces. Do Jupiter Pisces things to release the Aries energy because retro means go back. So go back to the previous zodiac sign, study what those traits are with that planet, do those traits in a direct way, and then you'll begin to see that after you do that, the energies of the retrograde planet will be released into your life and you'll see all the things that you want to see hopefully with that planet so what you need to know the only thing you need to know is you know the zodiac sign in the in the order from aries to pisces so you know if it was in taurus let's say you got saturn and taurus you would look and see what does saturn and aries act like let's say you got mercury in gemini then you would retrograde you would go see what Mercury in Taurus is like. Now, if I made a mistake in this video, it wouldn't surprise me because Mercury's in retrograde right now. Mars is in retrograde right now. Retrograde planets are not to be feared, right? Because it means slow down, reevaluate, reprioritize, rethink things, realign. And in life, many times we have to realign. But I want you right now to go to your natal chart and look at what planet you got retrograde Put the planet in the comment section, and with that, what zodiac sign comes before that the, the, the zodiac sign the planet is in? Let's start focusing on the previous zodiac sign to release the energy of that retrograde planet. And if you like this uh, video, hit a thumbs like and share it because I want everyone to be able to take the power of astrology to just live their best life.